Hello everyone, last night I finally did it. I finished the Neapolitan building. And before I get into showing you a lot of that, I wanna do a little flex on how awesome Mills plates are by carrying this particular building over to my display table and getting it placed on the table. I know a lot of people like to see this and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show you why I use Mills plates and this is the reason. They are beyond strong and give you the ability to carry huge builds across the room. Now you may be asking, why am I calling this the Neapolitan? I'm calling it that because during my live streams, someone said the color variations reminded them of Neapolitan ice cream. And I have to say, I kind of like it. I think it does actually kind of remind you of Neapolitan ice cream. And I thought, you know what, it's kind of a stately name for such a large building. So from here on out, this will be called the Neapolitan. There's still a lot of work to do to this building, but I think it's going to look amazing. Some of the work that I want to do is I do want to add some plant life and stuff throughout the front facade and the rear. And I also want to plant some trees on either side of it. But not only that, because I think it's going to help the building pop, I'm going to be adding vines and stuff coming off a few of the balconies. As you can see right here, I already did one. And then up on this balcony, I've done another. And on either side of the entrance, I'm looking at wanting to add a couple rose bushes like this one here. I get a lot of questions as to whether or not I'm going to be putting an interior in this building. And as of this time, no. As the building stands, it has already cost me roughly $2,300 to make. And this building is made out of 8,900 pieces. So there is a lot going on in this building. And on average, for a large building like this to have a full interior put into it, it's going to cost me more for the interior than the building itself would. I do intend on putting lighting and such in this building because I think it'll make it come alive. But that's going to take some time. And the biggest thing is... I wanted to get this off my build table and moved over here out of my way because now that I'm done working on that, I have a huge, and I mean a huge mess to clean up because when I'm building, I just start throwing bins and boxes on every side of me. And as you can see, I have quite the pile to pick up before I get started on one of my next projects, which I know I've shown in a few live streams, but it's this guy here. This building, I think, is going to be absolutely amazing. Anyway, just a quick video to show you that building, and I will be making another video with a lot more details in it coming soon. But if you like videos like this and want to see more, don't forget to check out this playlist here.